Hi, my name is Hannah Toole and I am doing an accent tag video for my linguistics class. Um, I was born and raised in Denver, Colorado in West Denver, so um, like a fairly Hispanic community and both my parents are from Colorado. So um, I'll go through the word list. Um, okay. Wash, oil, theater, sure, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, spitting image, syrup, ant, roof, root, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, pajamas, cot, naturally, aluminum, envelope. Um, okay, the question list. Uh, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? I call it teeping. What is the bug that when you touch it curls into a ball? A roly-poly. What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? A soda. What do you call gym shoes? I call them tennis shoes. What do you call your grandparents? Just grandma and grandpa. What do you call the kind of spider? A spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs. I call it daddy long legs. Um, what do you call the wheeled contraption which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A cart. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? Um, when I talk to kids, I call it a clicker. And I guess most of the other time I call it a remote, I guess. So it depends. Um, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Call it a sun shower. And then what do you say to address a group of people? I say maybe guys or everybody, something like that. Um, so I guess the words above are um, testing for certain, I think, known dialectical features that vary um, in the English language. So, um, for instance, the rhotic or non-rhotic accent is being tested by the word water, I think. You would drop the R. Um, crayon, you might drop um, the vowels at the end, so a lot of people call it crayon, I think, and then cot or cot merger, and I say them the exact same way, so I have that, um, but I don't have pin or pen, which is not tested in this. Um, and then in the question list, I think that it's just testing kind of cultural or lexical differences that um, are unique to each region or dialectical group. Um, uh, and I also think it forces you to speak a little bit more candidly because you're ask, a answering questions and there's just a little bit more conversation to analyze. So that is my Colorado accent.